Hey everyone, Gil here at Camp Patton Family Compound. I'm outside here, some uh, things just happened today and so I'm gonna catch up to speed on that. But before I do, just like to remind everybody, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please click the red subscribe button down below there and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way you'll get notified whenever I uh, post a uh, new video. Yeah, I'm avoiding uh, mud puddles out here right now. So, one thing that happened here, uh, the city uh, maintenance guy came and knocked on the door this morning let me know these, uh, they're putting water in the irrigation ditch and yes, we have water in the irrigation ditch. Well, the one problem was is that, uh, well, let me get over here and I can show it to you. Uh, this is the gate I have that feeds uh, into my property here. And hey, even though it's shut, it's leaking. And that's where all that uh, mud came from out there. So I uh, hopped on the coyote real quick this morning and I scraped up some dirt and pushed it up around it here to contain it so that it doesn't uh, you know, just flood everything out because I'm not ready to be do flood irrigation here. So that was the first thing that happened and I got that all done and yeah, looks like it's going to hold the dirt bank that I put around there is higher than what the water level is and hopefully that doesn't leak out. The other problem was that while I was uh, running the tractor on it, all of a sudden I noted it's down by my foot uh, where the uh, pedals for forward and reverse are. Um, it looked kind of wet down there. And I wasn't in the uh, in any water really to say on it. So I'm walking over and I'm going to show you what I found on the tractor here. This is another case of somebody being cheap with stuff and they what they did is well here let me just show you here first also i started getting to the dark spot and i realized wait a minute that's oil and i looked down under here so i get this aimed right here so i can make catch everything here just right here get it a little closer here okay so this line right here and the one right behind it here this one here are so up in the linkage for the forward and reverse pedals here. I don't know if you can see the pedals moving there or not. But this one here, and then the other one over here where my finger is wiggling over here. There you can see it wiggling. Alright. Now this one here rubs on rubbed on the side here and hey there's a hole here now and so it's leaking oil there. Now the other one uh, so I, back up on here find out where it is on it I've spotted it before maybe it's just stripping off the other one maybe just that one but it's still up here too close I thought I had spotted a little wear mark on it the other day but it wasn't leaking that's that's what I was crawling underneath here checking all everything I needed to uh, all the fittings I needed to grease and neither one of these were le leaking the other day but I saw, thought I spotted another wear mark on it. I don't feel anything right now. So I just I got one hose here to replace. Anyways, both these hoses are short. They should not be up in the link, up between the linkage like this. They should be out like this other one. And so they're about four, inch, four inches short. And this isn't the only spot it's screwed up on. <sighs> back in the back here, which is going to be kind of hard to see as well. All right, so... This one here that I'm tapping on comes up on a 90, and this one here, what you can't see is, let's see if I can get it a little bit closer. Maybe it, you, you'll be able to see it. Get the camera down in here. There's linkage down here, and the hoses are right, right up against that linkage. Fortunately, that linkage I don't use. That linkage is this one right here, which disengages the front wheel drive. Well, I leave it in all-wheel all drive all the time, so I don't have to worry about that. But this is a problem for this one here because this runs 
the hydraulics for the loader here. So this one here for sure has to be replaced. And when I pull it out and wipe everything down, I will check on the other one. But yeah, this is, this one here rubbed through it there. So I'm going to uh, have to head over to the Coyote dealer uh, today and see if uh, they'll replace this hose for free or not. Because this is a uh, manufactured uh, default or uh, defect in the fact that they made it too small and they have it wrapped up in the linkage. So, anyway, so those are the two things going on out here on the uh, today out here on the homestead here. So, as always, everyone stay happy, stay safe, stay prepared, plant a garden if you can this year, you're going to need it. And I'll see you around in the next video.